Dear Aunt Lucy, there are lots of things you can do here in London, and today I learnt you might be good at something without even knowing it. It all started at breakfast. Oh. One, two, three, and four! Oh, oh. oh. this is perfect! Here you go! Thanks, Mrs. Bird. Ta-da! Oh, stay still for one minute, you wee spinning top. Thanks, Mrs. Bird. Bum, bum, oh. bum. The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue. Must you do that so loudly, my darling? Absolutely. Get this wrong and I could sprain a vocal cord. Right now, you're spraining our ears. Everyone seems in quite a hurry this morning, Mrs. Brown. Yes, they're all getting ready for their hobbies. Oh. I see. What's a hobby? Something Mr. Brown does to avoid doing the washing up. <laughs> well, there's a, there's a little more to it than that. A male voice choir is a very serious thing. <laughs> <laughs> a hobby is something you do for fun in your spare time. What's my hobby, Mrs. Brown? Well, it can be anything you like. What do you enjoy doing? <gasps> That's easy. Eating marmalade sandwiches. Hmm, not exactly a hobby. What are you good at? Other than eating marmalade sandwiches? Mm. I suppose I don't know. Well, let's find out. Mrs. Brown uh, suggested that uh, first I try Judy's hobby, uh, which was something called gymnastatus. Uh, gymnastics, yes. Gym gymnastics. Ah, I'm afraid I don't know what that is. It's a sport. They even do it at the Olympics. And if you get really good, you can win a gold medal. Just watch me, and then copy what I do. Oh. Uh. Uh. Ta-da! Wow! Your turn! Uh. <clears throat> right. <gasps> uh. <sighs> Ta-da! Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Judy, but it seems I'm nowhere near as good as you are. And I must confess, <gasps> this made me rather tired. Maybe we should start with something simpler, like a few stretches. How about touching our toes? One, two, three, four, five. OK, then. One, two... Mm. Paddington? Paddington? Oh! Hello, Judy. Thank you for the lesson. Do I get a gold medal now? Uh, not quite yet. It seemed gymnotatics was not for me. I make spaceships. Oh, that sounds very complicated. No real ones, but they do fly. You just stick wings onto bottles, fill them with water, then blast them into the sky. Well, that sounds like lots of fun. It is. This is my latest one. It's called Nebula 5. <gasps> I'll call mine Marmalade 1. Blast off! Wow! Yeah! Woohoo! Oh, that was wonderful. Let's launch yours. Marmalade one, ready to launch. Oh. Ha. Uh. <laughs> Ursa Major, this is Ursa Minor. Are you ready for launch? Over. Yes. You have to say over, over. Oh, sorry. Over, over. No, just over, over. That's what I said. Over, over. Over. Five, four, three, two, one. Let go now, Paddington. <gasps> I'm stuck. I used too much glue. Don't move. Oh, dear. Oh, this really isn't good. <laughs> Oh. 
blast off. So, Aunt Lucy, it looked like I wasn't going to be a rocket scientist either. Well, your hobby sounds thrilling, Mrs. Bird. Motorcycle riding. Oh, that it is, my wee cub. Ah, where are we off to? Not so fast, little bear. To fully appreciate the ride, we must first make sure our bike is spick and span. We must clean every last inch. Can't be driving all over town in a dirty hog now, can we? But I thought we were riding your motorcycle. Ah, we are. But us bikers call our bikes hogs because... Well, oh, let's just give it a clean. There. Perfect. Time to hit the open road. Time to clean it again. And again! Oh. If I'm honest, Aunt Lucy, it wasn't as thrilling as I first expected. Perhaps motorcycle riding wasn't for me either. And one, two, three. Ah, That was interesting. Perhaps I should have done a vocal warm-up. Always do a, a vocal, vocal warm-up. Warm <laughs> <Lorry, laughs> it seemed, Aunt Lucy, that maybe I wasn't cut out for any hobbies at all. Oh. Paddington? Oh. <sighs> Oh, what's the matter, Paddington? I've tried everything, Mrs. Brown. A choir, rocket science, even Judy's gymnastics. And, well, it seems I'm not very good at anything. Hmm. Paddington, have you considered that maybe the thing you're good at is trying your best? Hmm. That's very nice of you, Mrs. Brown. But I do rather wish there was a hobby I was actually good at. I've thought of another hobby you can try. Really? Three, two, one. Go, Paddington! Amazing, Paddington! So high! Well done! Oh, amazing! Go, Paddington! Oh, nice. Paddington. So, Paddington, you're such a brilliant climber. Thank you, Mrs. Brown. Thank you very much. Well, I'm pleased you found Paddington a hobby, but did we really all have to join in? You know I'm scared of heights. It's called being supportive, and you are hardly off the ground. Oh! Oh, no, I look down. The world's spinning. Oh, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> 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 and so, Aunt Lucy... It turned out I had a hobby after all, and I didn't even know it. I just needed Mrs. Brown to point it out. <laughs> Love from Paddington. Dear Aunt Lucy, there's rather a funny story attached to the last letter I sent you. And it started 
when I needed a stamp. Hmm. Uh. Morning, Paddington. Morning. Marmalade on toast? Oh, yes, please, Mrs. Bird. <laughs> Mr. Brown, the strangest thing just happened. I went to fetch a stamp for my letter to Aunt Lucy from your office drawer, and there were none there. I don't want to alarm anyone. I think we may have been burgled. Oh, Paddington. I think it's more likely you've used them all. Hmm. Now I think about it, I have sent rather a lot of letters. Oh, I'm sure Mr. Gruber will have a stamp. We can stop by on our family walk. Family walk? Why is this a surprise? We have one every Saturday. And we all enjoy it, don't we? I said, everyone loves our family walks. Uh, oh, yep. yeah. Love sure. those family walks. I'm afraid I'll have to miss the walk this time. I need to send this letter right away. I'll have to take the toast to go, Mrs. Bird. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, can I get some toast to go? Oh. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Gruber. <laughs> nice catch. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to alarm you. <laughs> Nothing broken. Now, there is a very interesting story behind this. I'm sorry, Mr. Gruber, but I'm going to have to do something frightfully rude. I'm going to have to interrupt you. I'm in rather a rush, and I really need a stamp to put on this letter for Aunt Lucy. Do you have one? Of course. Take one from my desk. And I'll put this somewhere safe. Oh, thank you, Mr. Gruber. Oh. Perhaps I'll take this dusty old one, so Mr. Gruber can keep his shiny new ones. Ah. Hmm? Sorry, Your Majesty. There. Mr. Gruber? Ah, Paddington. When you were at my desk, uh, you didn't see a small black stamp. Oh, yes, I did, Mr. Gruber. Oh, good. Where is it? Well, hopefully it's on its way to Peru. Oh, no. I think you took the wrong stamp. Did I? I was sure to take an old one, so you could keep the shiny new ones. It was very old indeed. A very valuable antique. And my favourite. Oh, I am sorry, Mr. Gruber. If I'd known, I never would have taken it. It's not your fault. Let's not worry. No, Mr. Gruber. I promise. I will get the stamp back for you. Hmm. There must be some way in. It's locked. Well, that's disappointing. But also reassuring to know they take mail so seriously. There's nothing for it. There were quite a few letters down there, Aunt Lucy. But only one was sticky with marmalade. Got it! Ah. Hmm? It appeared... I could only get my paw out if I let go of the letter. But if I let go of the letter, then I would lose the stamp forever. Pigeonton! I'm stuck! Please get help! Oh. Pigeonton! That's not help! It's an ice cream! Wait! I didn't say I didn't want the ice cream. I could tell it was going to be a long day. Ah, well, that was a charming walk. Best one yet. It was exactly the same as all the others. Until now, because as a big treat... <gasps> yeah? We're going to walk home on the other side of the road. Hooray! Well, I enjoy our walks. <laughs> Is that Paddington? 
Paddington? Oh, oh, thank goodness you found me. I was getting rather worried. How on earth did you end up like this? It's a long story. I put Mr. Gruber's antique stamp on my letter by mistake, but I got stuck trying to get it back. That's the whole story. Oh, not that long after all. I see. Okay, everyone stand back. I will sort this problem out. <laughs> Maybe push him all the way in and send it back to Peru. <laughs> Is that a joke, Mr. Curry? <clears throat> what, what are you doing? What, why do I feel I'm hot and insecure? I'm giving you a hard stare, as you seem to have forgotten your manners. Oh. Oh. Quite right. Very sorry. Best of luck. What's happened here? Uh, Paddington seems to have uh, forgotten himself a little stuck. Nonsense. Just needs a bit of elbow grease. <laughs> nope. Stuck he is. Paddington, do you have your emergency marmalade sandwich? Of course, Judy. I never leave home without it. Brilliant. Here's my plan. We take the sandwich, rub the butter on his arm, give him a big pull, and he'll pop right out. That's a wonderful idea, Judy. Oh. Oh, love, it was a very good idea. Not as good as mine. We get a rope, tie one end to Paddington and the other end to a T-Rex. The T-Rex runs as fast as he can and pulls Paddington out. Then I get to keep the T-Rex as a pet. Good idea, but of course uh, dinosaurs don't exist anymore. But my bike does. We tie the rope to my bumper, give it some throttle, Paddington shoots out, lands in the sidecar, and we drive off into the sunset. Yes, sounds a little dangerous, Mrs. Bird. How about we all just pull at once? Yeah, yeah let's go with that. that. Sounds good. Yeah, sure, why not? Stop it, I'm going to slip a disc. Well, thank you, everyone, for trying. If only I could open my paw, then things would be different. You've, you've been holding the letter this whole time? Yes, Mr. Brown. Right. Did any of us realise that? Uh, no. No? Me neither. And, and nobody thought to check? Did you? Uh, that's, that's not important. Look, Paddington, we can't get you out if you're still holding on to the letter. You need to let it go. Oh, I'm sorry, everyone, but I promised Mr. Gruber I would get the stamp back for him. You tried your best, Paddington. Mr. Gruber won't be angry with you. But I'll be angry with myself. I'll just have to be stuck here forever. Or you could let go of the letter and wait for the postie to come. That's oh, that pretty obvious like when you think about it. OK, Judy, I'm letting go. One last... <laughs> oh, thank you. Are you OK? I rather banged my knee, actually. I meant Paddington. Yes, just a bit of a sore arm. Oh no! The postman! Oh, oh. Oh, she's taken my letter! Stop! Wait! And so, Mr. Gruber, the stamp is gone. I did try my best. I hope you can forgive me. Paddington, there is nothing to forgive. You see, that old stamp is doing exactly what a stamp is supposed to do. Now it's sending a lovely letter to your Aunt Lucy, and that's more valuable than anything. A letter to Aunt Lucy? I think I've just had an idea. So, Aunt Lucy, I was going to ask, if it's not too much bother, could you please send back the stamp from my last letter? because it would mean so much to Mr. Gruber. And I promise to give it back. And like you always said, a promise is a promise. Love from Paddington. <laughs> <laughs>